Clinton's call for the Democratic People's Republic of Korea DPRK, to offer proofs that Pyongyang leadership is in the process of taking apart its nuclear arsenal were characterized as nonsense by the nation's vice foreign minister, Cho Sun Hui, on Saturday, according to the Korean Central News Agency. KCNA. After U.S. President Donald Trump hinted that he was interested in a third summit with DPRK leader Kim Jong-un, Bolton, a Trump appointee, declared that prior to any meeting between the two heads of state there must first be a real indication from North Korea that they've made the strategic decision to give up nuclear weapons, cited by Bloomberg. DPRK Vice Foreign Minister Cho took Bolton to task for his demands, according to reports. Bolton national security adviser of the White House, in an interview with Bloomberg, showed above himself by saying such a nonsense, noted Cho to KCNA on Saturday. Bolton's remarks make me wonder whether they sprang out of incomprehension of the intentions of the top leaders of the DPRK and the US or whether he was just trying to talk with a certain sense of humor for his part, with its own deviation. Cho remarked, All things considered, his word has no charm in it and he looks dim-sided to me, she added, cited by Reuters. In commenting on Bolton's statement, DPRK Vice Minister Cho also avowed that no good could come of the former's demands as long as the U.S. continued to throw away such remarks devoid of discretion and reason. Pyongyang also noted on Thursday that, alongside Bolton, the nation would no longer discuss matters of state with U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, another Trump appointee, suggesting that the former CIA director should be replaced by a mature diplomat. According to Reuters, the warning against Pompeo by the DPRK came hours after Pyongyang announced that it had restarted its nuclear weapons program for the first time since the second round of talks between Kim and Trump fell apart on February 27, 